Hey guys, my name is Jared Wallman. I'm an instructor at the Bernardo Free Academy. I'm here again with my friend Adam to do some basic stuff on pulling guard and then a standing guard break. This is very, very common pulling guard, especially in fundamentals, and often we learn how to break guard from our knees. But if you watch the high level players, they're gonna stand to break their guard every time. I'm gonna show you a quick, easy way to do both. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so a common way that we're going to look at pulling guard is I want two grips, right? I want to get a collar grip, and I want to get some kind of sleeve. So if my partner gets a collar on me, we both have the same grip. I can get an elbow. I can come here underneath, but today I'm going to use a cuff grip, okay? Or I guess you can play around with this, but I want to be at the end of the sleeve here. The reason I'm doing this is to control this arm so that my foot can go to his hip. Now, Adam's going to have the same grips here, so if we turn, look, same, same. We both have a collar and sleeve, okay? A couple things to note before I pull, I don't want to be standing square. I want to make sure I have a little bit of an offset stance just so I don't get pulled and go flying, right? So once I'm here, my foot needs to go to his hip. If I'm real far away, it's hard to reach. So a common thing we teach in fundamentals is a quick stutter step where I step to shorten the distance. I load my weight on that leg and then this foot comes to the hip. Last note is I want to think of falling to the side here on my hip and towards his foot. I don't want to sit down and hurt my tailbone. So. Collar and sleeve, stutter step, foot to the hip, and look, I swing down. As I come here, see how he took that step? My foot here wants to find the space by the hip. I want to elevate my hips. So I can't pull with my heel. I bring myself up. I pull everything down as I walk. I've kept the grips the whole time, collar and sleeve. So we'll do this a couple times from a couple angles. Let's do it one more time from this angle here. So look, collar and sleeve. My body's low. I'm not standing up. There's going to be a terrible way to grapple, right? So I'm low. Stutter step. I pull. I lock up high and come right in. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. If you do me a favor and like, comment, subscribe, help support me and the channel, really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. We'll come around from this side. Same idea. If I'm already in a good step, I could go right in. If I find a lot of times we're pushing, we're pulling, I look for my time. I pull, and I lock down. So just the basic concept of pulling guard, right? The reason I'm pulling guard is to stop a takedown attempt. Maybe this guy's really good at wrestling. I want to pull down, but I want to pull with control. I'm not doing this, so stay strong. I'm not doing this. This is a terrible idea. I have extended. My feet are on the mat, and he's just going to drive in. Maybe come to mount side control. Yeah, boom. So when I pull guard, I'm off bouncing him and pulling with control. So one more time, one more time. Call and sleep. Look, we're moving around. When I'm ready, I sit, pull, boom. And now I'm locked in. So now let's flip the script. Adam's gonna pull guard on me and he's gonna keep that collar and sleeve. We're gonna break the grips and do our standing guard break. So nice and relaxed, he pulls guard. I'm gonna go down with him, right? Boom, we fall and I came here. Now if I stay this extended, I'm in danger and I'm leaning forward. So a lot of times I like to use him, this arm, and I push. He's going to keep that grip, but I'm setting myself up here. A side note, if we let go of the grips, I don't want to be in front of this belt line. I never want to be here looking at him. I know where he is. I want my chest up, my weight on my heels, just coming back here, okay? If I'm forward, he's reaching or whatever, he has access to my collar. If I'm back, it's much harder. So if we fall here, I'm going to force myself back. I can use the ribs, but he's holding on to the grips here. So it's hard, I'm trying to get up in this collar grip is the most annoying thing. So let's break that first. I'm not gonna look at it because my posture is bad. Bring my head up, both hands here, and I break. Once I'm here, notice how my posture got better. Now, same side is gonna cross and I'm gonna put it right under the edge of his ribs, right to the sternum, and I'm gonna turn my shoulders here. So now if he tries to pull me down, it's really hard. Elbows on the inside. I don't wanna be like this, my shoulders are square. If he pulls me down, there I go. So one more time. I fell like this, head up, chest and shoulders back, find this grip, break right away. As I push here, shoulders back. Now he's still holding this grip, that's okay. We're gonna circle and get our own grip. Now he's gonna keep holding on, if he lets go, it doesn't matter. I don't want him to let go. So if he keeps holding on, it doesn't matter to me. Now I'm ready to go. I have a push mechanism and a pull mechanism. I'm gonna step up on this side because I'm blocking this arm. I step up. Notice how my posture stays up. I don't look forward because now he's going to yank me. So one more time. I felt like this. Ah, posture first. Find that grip. Break. 
boom, right there. Circle, boom. Now I have my push-pull mechanism ready. I step up. Look how I'm strong here. Now, if I try to step up, the second foot is really hard unless I do this. I turn. So my back foot, windshield wipers out, it turns this hip a little bit. It's a small detail, but it's a crucial detail. Now I'm leaning to this foot and stepping up. Once I'm here, posture must go up, but I can let go of this hand. And I pull him here. He's kept his guard locked, that's fine. Now I want to break this leg. If I use my arm bent, it doesn't work. I lean, look at my elbows on the inside, stiff arm, and as I drop, I keep this connection. So I fall with one hand controlling the knee, one hand on the sleeve, elbow to knee. It's a strong position for me to start guard fast. So let's do this again from a different angle. He pulls guard. We both have collar and sleeve, right? He's gonna keep those grips the whole time. He pulls, boom, ah. I fall into the closed guard. Immediately, posture first. Don't like try to start doing this, because now I'm in trouble. He's gonna cross my arm, he's gonna get me off balance. Posture first, I'm even pushing into this hand. So hold tight, hold tight. When I push, hold tight. And I hold tight. I push, look, he's holding. Now, there's my break, and I set it here. Circle and find the far grip. Control the grips first. I'm not rushing to get out of the guard. If I don't have grip control, I can't get out. Now I have my push and pull mechanism. I step, rotate, big detail, up. Now I let go of this hand that's pushing on him and just pull, angle myself, clear, step back, and now I'm set up for a guard pass or whatever I need to do. So let's do one more. I'll do a guard pull, and then I'm gonna do a guard break, and I'll end it. Collar and sleeve. Good base. Stutter step, I sit, pull, hips come up, I lock him and pull him down. I had my collar and sleeve. He does the same to me. Nice step, good, he pulls me down, boom. Right away, posture, break. Post that right on him, turn the shoulders. Circle, far side wrist, I step. Make sure I turn here. I turn like 90 degrees almost, maybe 45 degrees I guess. I turn, I step, pull up, push hard, break open, and now I'm set to pass. Maybe I come right in here, boom, and down. So that's it guys, and you got him. That's just some concepts I really want you to think about is, if I'm playing guard, I wanna pull with control. If I'm breaking out of somebody's guard, standing up is probably one of the most efficient ways to do it. Try it out. That'll be a good cue, perfect, <laughs> yeah, jazz hands.